Right, we're live. Yeah, I think we're live, mate. We're live. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. So, hey, everyone. This is my friend Kevin, and I. I'm. Co I can't even talk. This You're also I'm, Kevin. I'll help you. That, this is the thing. See, it doesn't matter what you do to practice to do anything before a video. You, you hit the stream button, and then something goes wrong. Best laid plans, and it all just goes. I know. So yeah my friend Kevin and we're going to talk about phones so Kevin has also got a passion for smartphones and things like that he follows news a lot he's also in the Huawei gang I am not in the yellow <laughs> he's other not gang though <laughs> I'm definitely on, not on, in that guy on, on Friday night we went to a party and you you spent about 20 minutes basically just basically. haranguing me saying that this is the most ridiculous case ever because as I pointed out Huawei make this phone look beautiful on the back and he covers it with a horrible yellow I'm colour. I'm protecting it. That's because I... Mine's just protected. It. Is yours the same colour? If you get the same... Yes. I, look, you can see it. I was the there was another colour, colour, uh, another colour I was trying to get, but... Is it called Aurora? I think so. I, mm -hmm. That rings a bell. I've actually still got the sticker um, on the back of mine. Is this actually... Is streaming okay? Yes, I think we are. Ah, oh, there we go. Like... See? We are live. Um... <laughs> it's funny we were positioning the camera there and every every time we tried to put the camera in a different position it just seemed to go towards our balls <laughs> yes there was way too much gusset going on but we got there in the end I think this is a decent angle yeah, it looks good to me so. I'll do it just now we'll, we'll get a different setup next week right so there was quite a few things we wanted to look at today um, there was two big announcements yesterday there was the Google Pixel 4 4XL and there's the Realme X2 Pro yep but I've not talked about the OnePlus 7T, and I forgot about that. You actually brought this up yeah. just at the start as well, because you, you use OnePlus, what did you have, the OnePlus 4, 5, 6 or something? 3T, and then I jumped to the 5, and then the 6. Right. So, um, yeah, I, so you're kind so between I've, the 3 and 4. Yeah, I had, I had a few OnePlus phones, and uh, there was one major glitch that never comes up in reviews that nobody ever talks about, and this is the reason I got rid of the OnePlus and moved to Huawei. Um when you're typing on the keyboard, there's a, basically a glitch in it. So you'll be halfway through typing a word, and if there's a mistake in that, the keyboard just goes crazy, and you have to delete everything you've. But can you not replace again. the keyboard? I tried. I tried. Can you not I tried. Try tried. Key and all that. Tried kind of all thing? that, and it still seemed to have this same glitch. And now I expected when that upgraded to the six that this would be resolved. Hey, deep back. Uh, it actually wasn't resolved so you think they would got it resolved or not was this an, so was it oxygen os to call it yeah and that that's one of the things that annoys me because oxygen was brilliant it was a really stripped back kind of it was wasn't stock at uh, android but it wasn't nothing really there was, so there was no really like apps part. that you couldn't delete there was none of that you could basically set it up any way you wanted i loved it um but that is the most frustrating thing in the world when you're typing on your keyboard and you have to keep deleting guys um he gives. Yeah. Hi, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Uh, yeah, you have to keep going back, deleting stuff off, and then starting again. Your well, I only. Like, I mean, I had to look at you. You've every time you got it, you're like, check this out. The camera's amazing. It's cheap. And the thing is, they did the exact same thing as Google. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna we're gonna talk about the Google Pixel in a bit, guys. Um, we'll talk about the Pixel and the real me and the, and and the One Plus. But what what I was uh, what I was gonna say there was. Google did the exact same. They came out with the Google Nexus range. Yep. It was like, what was it? Two hundred pounds in the UK. Yep. It was the Nexus. The Nexus Four. Everyone had the Nexus. Like the batteries were terrible on them. They all kind of failed, but the batteries were terrible. But then they just came out with the Pixel range, and yep. they almost doubled overnight. And then they started every year. It was an extra fifty pounds, yep. an extra hundred. And OnePlus have been doing the same. They come out about the three hundred mark, mm. and then it was three fifty because it's got all these extra features. Yep. Then it was four hundred. Now their standard price is like six hundred, and what? and they're priced along almost like what maybe fifty below Samsung, a hundred below Samsung. They're yeah. more expensive, and they're basically they're not the cheap option. No, they aren't, and that's, that's what and that was the main reason yeah. to use them because they had a plastic build and all that. And what attracted me to them and the three T was I use O two refresh. If you're in the UK, that's um, how I got this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a big fan of O two refresh. I'm also on a friends and family discount. Thanks, Stephanie, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so that helps with the price. But I was attracted to it because it was 399 quid for 128 gig um, storage. And I was like, that is amazing. And when yeah. you look to the Pixel that was out at the time, was it still called the Pixel then? 
what was Google's next iteration? Anyway, yeah, might, like when the first, OnePlus first one, came out, yeah, I'm, it was the ne- Nexus or something. Nexus, but then it jumped to because I tried to buy the first the first uh, OnePlus mm-hmm. and I couldn't because they used that stupid voucher invitation That's system right, yeah. thing where you had to get it was like a game and people were selling invitations. At, I got to the point when I was like, you know what, I, I don't want it now. <laughs> it was just annoying because Aye, people just, were selling invites and yeah. Aye, so I, I I bought that because it was three nine nine and I thought. It, it looks amazing and I'd read up about the fact that it was almost stock Android and um, previous to that I was quite HTC. I yeah, I was a little bit, well I had a couple M- of HTC phones. I think I had the M8, M8, then the M9 I think I had. Okay. M9, I like, the M9 wasn't that different though, wasn't no, it? No, it wasn't, it was an incremental difference and then I went to... Ah, I was like looking a new at, CPU, maybe uh, I was a looking tweak. at, it was M10 I think had come out at the time and I was looking at the M10 had jumped up in price and then I seen this one plus and I was like... What did I do here? So I thought, I'm going to take a chance on that. It made my contract really cheap on refresh because obviously you pay the handset up um, as one part, you're paying the other parts your airtime, which I got a discount yeah. on. So it made my contract really cheap. So I took it and I was like, this looks good. And I absolutely was in love with it. And then this issue didn't, it wasn't there at the start. And it's not something you read about in reviews, but in, in day, to, day-to-day use, it's the most annoying thing in the world. So then the five came out and I thought, was it the five? I think I jumped to the five. Five. It wasn't a massive jump up in spec, but it was. It was faster. It was slicker. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Um. So yeah, went with that, and then it was. Um. I was a bit kind of annoyed that they never fixed it, and for some reason I decided to try the six. I think what happened at the time was they were offering me a hundred hundred pounds extra trade in value on my contract, which meant I could get out my old two refresh. With the trade in value with the extra hundred quid and getting the new phone, it didn't cost me anything. I think it cost me like twenty quid. So I thought I'm going to try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I had that six for six T. I had that for. So that would have been on it. Was it a six T? I had. It was. I had the six T before I had this, and um, I couldn't. I just could not live with it anymore. And I only had it for six months, and it cost me. They were doing the same deal. They were giving you a hundred quid plus on your trade in against this phone. And I think it cost me 80 quid to get out of my contract and switch over to the Huawei P30 Pro. Yeah. Which was when it just got released. Well, that's funny. Like, Deepak's just saying that. Google yep. didn't put the ultra wide and opted for telephoto, but the yep. Huawei, the ultra wide is amazing. The oh, ultra wide camera on it is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It's um, The thing that attracted me to the, the Huawei P30 Pro was the camera technology was a massive leap over anything. And yep. phones, it's just been faster. Um, you know, processor, this kind of stuff. It's all been tiny, tiny little incremental differences. Now, fair enough, it does add up to a bit of change, but through time, I just felt like there wasn't a lot new coming out in phones, anything that was kind of groundbreaking until I seen the camera on the Huawei P30 Pro. Yeah, well, the, to be fair, the P20 Pro was amazing as well. Yeah, well, I never had that phone, a... yeah. But hey, the... Paul. The Google 4 is a joke at the asking price. No SD card expansion, mediocre battery. Well, that's one thing. So, well, basically, before we started, you said, basically, you've not really looked at the specs of any of these phones yet. You've looked yet. at the OnePlus 7. But, yeah. But I, I'm kind of the same. I've had a quick look at the Google Pixel 4, but very brief look. But the first thing that jumped out at me was the Google Pixel 4 and the XL. Basically, the Pixel 4. So, we'll look at this in a minute. But the, the Pixel 4 has got like a 5.7-inch screen. Yep. But even this one's got like 6.1, 6.1 right? Yeah. But it's got like a 2,800 milliamp battery. Like, I know it's a smaller screen, but that sounds very, very small. small and it's yeah. updated design with those humongous bezels. I just, it doesn't look like they've done enough enough here because the competition is so healthy now. Like, we'll yeah. see this with the Realme phone as well. Um, OnePlus One was ace. My father-in-law was using it now. But the, the OnePlus One, Stephen, that was, I think when that came out, it was like 350. Yeah, it was a. It was, was, it? it was yeah, it was. It was about three fifty. Because basically, sixty four gig was. Because I was, I was actually. If I went back to my YouTube videos, I'd probably find a video where I said <laughs> I was going to buy the Oppo, and then I'd have a video saying, "Guys, the company behind Oppo or the guys behind yeah. it, they've launched a new company." Because that's what it was. It was the guys that moved from Oppo. It was, uh, and they started. I forget his name now, but. Uh, but the thing is, the thing that one of the bugbears with OnePlus, which, is just this constant releasing the phones 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 i think they do at least two a year yeah it kind of oh, oh. you all right no i was going to ask guys if the audio is too quiet let me know i can put the the, the gain level up yeah um it kind of annoys me slightly that they're releasing phones twice a year because it's one of them things 
if you're like me and you want the newest phone, which I don't know. Well, but the thing I is, have. that's what that's how it, that's how it works in China. Basically, yeah. they, it's them they've got this aggressive schedule. But the thing is, the One Plus Seven T, I'm sure it's coming out with the Snapdragon 855 Plus, right? Yeah. The Google Pixel isn't. It's just the 855. But the the, the specs for the One Plus Eight are now floating around. Yeah, because they've got the yeah. yeah that's going to be released in March. Is it? Are they going to go earlier? But they're March normally they're April. normally May no. June. Yeah, maybe it was me they said. I, I, it's normally, Sa normally Samsung comes out first of the year with the first chip. Yeah. But they've always got the weird thing where they use it. Is it Xenos chip, the other kind of brand yeah, of chip? The and one. then they use that in some regions and they use the Snapdragon in other regions. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. There's, I don't know if it's just in certain regions they use Snapdragon and in yeah. other regions you, they use, is it Xenos? It's like an yeah. XYOS kind of thing. Sold your P30 Pro. Still have my Mate 20 non-pro version. My daily driver is now a mid-range Oppo RX17 Pro. What one's that? I'll need to check that out. RX17, if I checked that before. Oh, it's a mid-range one. Incredible value, so it's gigabit of RAM. On AMOLED, dis it. AMOLED display on a mid-range phone is pretty impressive. Yeah, that is. That, this is the funny thing, guys, because I've only really been changing my phone once a year the last couple of years, but I still check news all the time. But yeah. I'm probably going to buy another one soon just because I like phones. That's quite interesting, Deepak. I'm got to admit, I'm Mr. Anti-Apple. Um, but I have a work phone and also have my personal phone. The reason is my work phone has very limited data and I have to take an Apple phone. So I still have my own personal contract just because I like phones. And I still just cannot get one with Apple. So I have, the I think I've got a 7 at the moment, iPhone 7. So I'm not exactly but up I think to date by far. It's, what what I think they're doing right though is the the, the, the video for me as a as a YouTuber. See yeah. that see how I did that, I like there? that as a YouTuber, as a YouTuber. Yeah. But as a YouTuber I was looking at it and I was like 4K 60 frames per second with the front camera. Yeah. Which granted is overkill. I don't need that. Yeah, but so I'm cool. looking at it from a geek gadget point of view and thinking yeah. that's amazing. But I thought the pixel would offer that, but it doesn't. It's I'm sure it's just 1080p 30. Hey Cap. Probably better to wait for Pixel 4 XL. Yeah, well, it, it's funny it. because, well, to be honest, they've actually come out with, they did this before with the, the Pixel 3a, I think it was, yeah. the budget version of the Pixel last year, where you get a free Chromebook. So they're doing that now. If you order the, the Pixel, I mean, effectively, it brings the price down a little bit if you're going to sell the Chromebook or if you want to buy a Chromebook anyway. Yeah. They're going to offer a Chromebook with it, like a basic £200 cheap Chromebook, which is basically just for browsing just, the web. Yeah. This is a new um, thing they're all doing, isn't it? They're like hooking you in with... Well, while we did that for yeah, a couple of years, did, that's how they, they got a lot of people on. Because they with the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro, they gave away Bose earphones, which were £300. Yeah, they did. That. And it worked out a fantastic deal when it worked out, right, when you actually broke it down. Yeah. Check the Oppo RX17 Pro. Yeah. Right, okay. I'll, I'll, uh, out of interest, Paul, sorry, while we're doing that, why, why did you get rid of your P30 Pro? Was that down to the... Obviously, the bad press around the Huawei and the, the lack of um, access to Google. Interesting if you could answer that. I went off on a tangent earlier. What I was going to say was, earlier on, I was going to say, see, even that I check news and all that all the time, people that watch my channel, like some of them are changing their phones three, four times a year yeah. and they know more than me. Well, like, I'm checking news all the time and they know so much more than me. It's amazing. That's um, good. Right, so I'm just going to bring this up now, Paul. Remember, you can see them down there as well. Oh, yeah. That's, I don't know if that helps you. I don't know what it's easy. It's actually quite easy up there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a better height up there, obviously, uh, with the camera being up there. Um, right, so this is the Oppo RX17 Pro. I'm going to have a look at the price first. Because you say, you say this at the start, you're like, I want to talk about price because yeah, it's important. It is. That's one of the things that most websites don't point out. Um... Where is it coming? Uh, around about 600 euros, so probably about 500 pounds in the UK. So what have we got here? Released last November, six, eight gigabytes of RAM. I, or I might have remember, I might have seen this at the time. 6.4 inch screen, 3,700 milliamp battery, AMOLED screen, which is nice. Yep. Gorilla Glass 6, uh, Android 8.1, Snapdragon 710, 710, which is enough for most things. Yeah, 12 wide, camera, like 12 megapixel wide, see. 20 megapixel f2.6, and then you've got a 3D camera. Uh, it's got 4K as well. It's got a 25 megapixel sensor. It looks really good for the money. It does. doesn't have a headphone jack, but Neither do type I. seat. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting, Paul. So you, 
you thought that the camera on it was over processing. I've got to admit the camera for me. I'm not a photographer. I've got to admit I'm not a photographer. I'm not into photography, but I found a lot of the features on the the camera. I'm starting to learn a little bit more as I go, just because oh, like the manual mode. Yeah, manual yeah, mode. Yeah. You can put it into pro mode and you can go through all the different stuff in it. It is pretty clever. Um, hey but Hugh, I was um, I was at a baseball game in London. Um, the Yankees Red Sox played a game in London. And I went down, I was sitting at the other end of the stadium and the digital zoom on it is unbelievable from the other side of the stadium. You're zooming in and taking photos and you're going to lose a bit of quality when you do that, but they were more than adequate enough for social media use and all that kind of stuff. You were zooming, it's, it is pretty amazing. Aye, aye. Well, I mean, the... I think after a certain point, I find well, your, yeah. your ones get more of a, um, more zoom capabilities, yeah. but I found, I found with, um, I found with this, it's like after four or five with the photo and video, it gets a bit blurry and all that. Yeah. But at least with the photos, they maybe well, maybe video up to five times, but the, um, with the photos, like up to ten times. Paul's saying that phone's only three hundred and twenty now, though. Yeah, it's that's crazy. a big difference. Crazy how it's came down in price. Kevin loves his Chinese products. I've actually not bought. I've not bought anything from it from China for a while. I got a lens last week, which I've not reviewed yet. But I've got a lens last week, which I got from China. But that's just because it was cheaper to buy there. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, it was over five times. I think over five times. I noticed the video was grainy. Over like before, because basically the zoom capabilities well, on mine anyway, it's up to ten for video, up to thirty for photo, and the photo is maybe up to ten, and then it gets a little bit grainy and all that. And yeah, so I mean, I'm just trying to show a photo here, which you're not going to be able to see. I just put it up to the camera. Maybe I'll we'll see it. Be able to see it very good from here, but. Um, it's not going to come up well with the, the, the fact, light, but take a, you can take we could, a, we, could, we, could, we could share that, but, um, but certainly if you look at that, I mean, I'm the other side of the stadium. I probably could actually, if you, if you, you know, you can zoom in, pick out the players and everything on that. I think that's pretty amazing for being so far away on a, yeah, like, yeah. On a phone. Um, well, the thing is as well, I, I was at, I was in uh, Italy recently, I went to Venice with my mum, um, and I took out my little Sony RX100, which I've got CV camera up there. Yeah. I took yeah. that with me. But I found I was just using my phone. And some of the pictures, the phone was actually producing better oh, yeah. photos. I don't, now, that's probably because this does a lot of stuff automatically, then maybe that yeah, one doesn't. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, and that's what Paul was saying about this. He said is that, you know, he didn't like the, 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 the processing on it. But um, don't diss Kevin's £1,000 camera. <laughs> <laughs> um Oppo Rex uses super V Doc charging, zero to one hundred only thirty five minutes. Ah, uh, that's impressive. That I'd say the thing is, see, a couple of years ago when you got your first One Plus, yeah, all dash. you did kept, kept raving about was dash charge, dash charge, dash, dash charge. charge. You kept telling me yep. dash charge, dash charge. It and was now like, it's so slow compared to. Well, this one the is, charger on the Huawei. Oh, is but you have to buy the right charger though, because I, I bought yeah. a little. You have to buy the 4.8 volt charger for your car and you need to buy like yeah. the, the right plug. See the Because that one I've got down the other plug, it does 2.4, so yeah. it doesn't charge it as quick. The one plus, you have to have even the right cable. Oh, the yeah, right, yeah, you do. The right cable, I so I bought some... Because I just assumed quick charge but, would work. Yeah, I just I bought some cheap cables off of um, eBay, which looked the same. Right. And the dash charge wouldn't work. Uh, I haven't actually tried it with this one. Well, that one, that, see that one, that's, that's a six pound cable for this for the Huawei but yep. I've just plugged into the light there because yeah. it's type C but the, the the charging on the the P30 Pro is insanely fast yeah to the point like where you used to worry about carrying um, power banks and stuff I travel a lot for work and carrying power I don't even bother now alright I don't need to because the, number one the battery life is you so want to see the company you work for will keep that secret or I don't mind. People start Googling you. <laughs> Turn up your door. <laughs> I don't mind. Well, you, not, well, you work, absolutely completely you irrelevant. Spend a lot of, you spend a lot of time going to conferences and different things Yeah, as well, I travel all over the world. I travel... In I, I, work in, I work in the motorbike and bicycle industry. I travel all over. I go, yeah, all over the world. Do a lot of long-haul flying, that kind of stuff. So my phone does tend to get a lot of use when I'm in airports and stuff. And I used to have to carry a power bank about with me with older phones because the battery life just didn't work. I haven't had that problem since I moved to Huawei. Um, number one, the battery lasts so long, but even if I can get 15 minutes sitting in where I can plug the phone in, um, it boosts the battery that much in that amount of time that I've never been... Yeah. I've never had a problem with battery life anywhere. Um, um, well, I mean, I've found it as well. I don't charge overnight either. Because, like, you can see there now, like, mine's is, like, 36%. Dash, dash charge is old news. It's all about warp charge now. <laughs> so... Someone enlightened me on how much faster it is because dash, dash charge 
I agree as old. What is, what's the Charles Ness called? There's a name for Oh, I see a well. thing. They keep rebranding. I, I, I forget the name Huawei. Yeah, let's just call it Huawei Super Duper Charge. <laughs> <laughs> Warp Charge. I was reading a bit about this. This Is a, Is this the Apple's one? I think this is HTC's one. This oh, right, now, okay. Eh, not HTC, sorry. OnePlus is what they're calling it now. Um, Warp Charge. I think the Dash Charge is now old hat and they're using... Yeah, one of the priority passes. I used to have. This is Kevin, by the way. Here, yeah. sorry, we're if you all, missed the start. We're both called Kevin, so it makes yeah. it easy. Um, I used to have a priority pass for the lounges, and then my work got a bit stingy and took it off me. Um, but to be honest, I try and spend as little time as I can in lounges, uh, in airports. Sorry. Um, if I have a layover now, um, yeah, that's the only time I can pay into a lounge. So, but they are good. Highly recommend a priority pass if you're doing a bit of traveling. It gets you in all the lounges for free. I think it works. I think it's. A, 250 quid a year or something like that so if you're traveling I mean if you're traveling a lot it's just like yeah yeah. this Um, is the right we will we will (laughs) Kevin 2 Kevin (laughs) why am I not Um, Kevin 1 it's funny because I had my friend (laughs) uh, Michael on um, and then I was going to get the other Michael with the car Michael oh, right, so and, and I'm thinking people want to get confused they're like like, this is Michael this is Michael all nicknames yeah Um, charges at 60 hertz all right I brought up that, Paul. Uh, so Paul was saying there, where's your comment? Paul was saying they bring up this phone. I think it was it was Paul. Yes, the Oppo Ren- Renault Ace. Um, All right. Just released. 48 okay. megapixel camera. Wow. 8 and 12 gigabytes. Right, so this is the same as the, the Realme, which we'll look at later. Eight, so this is the Snapdragon 855 Plus. So it's between this and whatever. I assume the next one will be the 6.5. Yeah. Um, 4,000 megamp battery. Yeah, 4,000. AMOLED screen. Um, 48, 13, 8 and 2. This is very similar to the Realme yep. as well. Um, 4K at the back, 60 frames per second at the back as well. 16 megapixel at the front. F2.0 wide. non removable 4,000. Fast battery charging, 65 watts. I prefer that one. Is that, yeah. is that what Paul was talking about with the Super... Was it Super VUC? So you're now Kev0 and I'm Kev1. <laughs> <laughs> That works for me. I've been shot on. Um, 65, mm-hmm. well, well, this one, is this, because they moved up to 18 watts for like the new Apple one and all that. I don't know what this one, is this 18 watts? Uh, is that higher than that? Pull the specs up on that. Oh, but this is, so, uh, that's a good shout, Paul. That's a good shout, Paul, because I was looking at, I'm going to show you this later, because the reason I brought up, so I've got all the tabs open, I've got the Pixel 4, I've got the Realme X2 Pro, the reason being, both of these were announced yesterday, you know, the whole fanfare um, about that. If you want to see more about the, the Realme, I don't know if you guys are aware of Tech Tablets. He's a really nice guy. He's an Australian guy, but he, he lives in Valencia. But he actually went to the conference yesterday and, you know, he's got the phone, he's unboxed it and all that. So check that out. But um, that looks really, really good. But I, I'm tempted to maybe look into that. That's a good shout, Paul. It's, um, I mean, when you look at what you're getting for the money, Pull up the, can you pull up? Oh, I can do it here. What's that for what? Just we were talking about that, charging. Oh, the, the Super VUC. The Super VUC. The VUC. I'm sure it stands for something uh, fancy. They've actually got the kind of Aurora colour there as well, haven't they? Yeah, it's looking like quite similar. Aye. But that, that's, that, that will see, as far as CPU performance and that, that will trounce our phones. Yeah. No, not trounce. That's 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 not fair, actually, because it it'll be like a 10%, 20% boost. Oh, the Renault Ace has got the SD, micro SD card. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't notice that D-Pack. Like, I looked at the Realme. The, the, one of the reasons I was looking at the Realme is just because the event was on yesterday, so I was following some of the, the announcements on Twitter. So that's, oh, Realme's got 50 watt, Oppo, Reno is 65 watt. That's insane. I'm tempted to just order one of these then, get one of these and just the fast try it out. charging on this one's 40 watt. Fast wireless is 15 watt. On, the, on this one? Yeah, on the P30 Pro. I, I think mine's is less, mine's yeah, is less, mine's is less, mine's is less it's yeah. Pro version. Um, right guys, just wanted to take a look at the Pixel. I know a little bit about it as in briefly, but you don't know. Yeah, too. I haven't had a chance to look at this yet. So this will be good. The two Kevins must be your new YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin and Kevin. Yeah. All right, Gary boy. Oh, Gary McDowell. We should have brought you in, guys. Gary. We should have brought you in. Yeah. Come chat with the door. Yeah. Actually, saying that, because I've been talking with, uh, with Kevin about this this week. 
Oh, in fact, this could be the postman for me. It is a delivery. Bad timing. No, it's good timing. I'll get it. You sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So basically, what it actually, it actually, um, actually ties in quite well because me and Paul were talking about, um, me and Paul were talking about um, doing this video, but I'm going to buy a lot more equipment. I've got a mic coming. I've got different things to improve the overall setup, but um, I've got an audio recorder coming today, and it's there. I can see the I can see Postman Pat out the back. Oppo Ace goes in sale in Europe early in November for, for four nine nine. I suspect Paul. I suspect you'll be able to get that. Um, I suspect you'll be able to get that. What four hundred or something from China, maybe cheaper. We have goodies. Yay! I just heard you going. He's like um, giving your own name. Giving I, your name. And it was like first initial K. I'm thinking, well, you're not lying. He's like second. You're like eh, hey, Muldoon. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, there's a lot in here. Actually, I'll do a separate video with that. Actually, I'll do. It. I might even do a live stream with that. Oof. Because there's a lot of stuff in that. A lot of goodies. Yes. OnePlus, Realme, Oppo are the same company. Oh, I didn't know Realme was. A live uh, unboxing. Well, I'll do a live unboxing tomorrow. There's a lot in it. Basically, I need my overhead camera to show you it all properly. Um, well, I could do it, I guess. I probably could, actually, if you're here. I guess I could. Yeah. How are you for time? Not too bad. I've got another hour. Another, another hour. Right. Um, right, guys. So, I think we I should jump I did not over. know that, that Realme was the same company. I knew OnePlus and Oppo. I knew that as well. Where, OnePlus I didn't, know, didn't know Realme was. Which makes um, sense when you actually see the... Uh, the specs. How close the specs are. Uh, here is, it's basically it's an audio recorder interface thing. So um, I bought it secondhand as a package deal with a case, batteries, memory cards. Just spoiled like the surprise now. I have. <laughs> I'm not good for surprises. I just tell no, you. I just tell it. Um, it's an audio recorder thing. But, but basically next week we'll be able to have more of a kind of podcasting setup. Um, right. So let's take a look at the Google Pixel. Let's take a closer look at this. So the two of us don't really know too much about it, but right, what do you think? Start with design. Let's start with the design. What are you thinking? What do you think the look of it here? I like it. I've, yeah. I've always liked, it's, see that with a little orange or white buttons yeah. and all that. It's kind of, it's, not many companies are doing that. Most companies it's just black or silver. Yeah. It's, or it's just the same color. One of the things I do miss about the OnePlus phones was a little rocker on the side where you could rock between silent mode um, aye, aye, aye. The, it was like a click. It was a clicky yeah, thing, wasn't it? Do not it? disturb silent mode and obviously... Yeah, have they taken that away? No, they, they just don't have it because I don't have OnePlus anymore. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I thought you'd say yeah, OnePlus. No, it's just one of them away. things that I miss about having a OnePlus yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, no, I was, well, I mean, it was very handy. Because iPhones used to have it, it was just silent. Yeah, iPhones still have it that you can flick between aye. silent and That's non-silent. a good feature. Yeah. So you can see there's a quad camera in the back. I think the colour schemes are quite interesting. I quite like it. I quite like the... The style of it, like kind of flat edges. With yeah, the, I mean, went the curve. Who was, was it? You, Paul? They said about the bezels. To be honest, the bezels like that don't bother me. If I'm honest, I don't think the bezels. I don't think bezels are at a point that annoy me anymore. And I don't think losing a little bit at the top is a big issue for me. It just looks dated. It does look dated. No, I understand that. It does. But I'd, I'd still, I'd always put functionality in front of it because the reason is. One of the reasons that speakers have got worse over the last few years is because they don't have that bezel. Yeah. If you remember the like the M8 when it came out, the speakers the and the speakers one before it as well, they were, were amazing because they had they ones at the top and they had ones at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there's always sacrifices on them. So, right, motion sense and evolved camera, the Google Assistant, studio like photos without the studio. I mean, I, the thing is, we're at the point now, you see every single year, Google at the end of the year, they've said one of the best cameras of the year, it's beat the iPhone, it's beat everything. So I think we're at the point where we know the photo is going to be good. Yeah. Take a photo without Night a flash. Mode is amazing on cameras these days. Yeah, capture the cosmos. Um, right, so most of this page will be about the camera, won't it? Nearly yeah. everything will be about the camera. I remember saying Google you, when I first got this phone, send a photo from my kitchen with the lights off and take the photo in night mode, and it's unbelievable the amount of detail you can pick up on it. Aye. Um, but yeah, night mode is 
so much better than using a flash at night if if it's available. You see yourself using this? Huh. Like that. These yeah. are just kind of gimmicks to me. Uh, like they, I know they are some a bit gimmicky, but see that. once you start using them, like my my headphones that I've got, my wireless headphones. I've got these kind of features and I never used them to start with. Exactly. Now I've got used to them, I actually find them really handy. That's a nice case actually. Yeah, a nice stand as well. Yeah. With a big ridiculous It's not pencil. yellow though. It's not yellow. It should be yellow. Yeah. It definitely should be yellow. Um, right, so what I'm going to do here, I'll, I'll compare... Oh, I'll compare. The 3A to the 4 to the 4XL, right? Go for it. Just as a kind of comparison, because the 3A was the budget version. In fact, what have they got the 3 at? 739. So that'll come down, though. That'll come down. That'll come down because there'll be deals on these ones. Um, right, so the Pixel 4, 669. But they are doing it that you get a Pixel Book. I assume it's, I think it's the, is it the or Pixel Book? Chromebook. The Pixel Book's like a grand. Yeah. Uh, HP Chromebook 14. So let's go through. Right, so is it a way? It's weird how they don't give me a way to just remove this part. It's forcing me to do three. Um, so you've got the four in the middle, four XL, five point seven inch versus six point three. Right, so here's the here's the main stats that you guys should be able to see. So OLED display, four hundred forty six pixels per inch, five in. Just coming back to the comments here. Thirty seven. Um. I do agree that with you, it does look very much like an Apple clone in terms of the shape. What, the aesthetics? Yeah, they've definitely went for iPhone styling in terms of how they've how they've designed the outside packaging, if you like. Yeah. Um, I do agree the the bezels annoy me a little bit, I've got to admit, the curve on it as well. Um, Kev doesn't see it as much as I am. Well, just because when I got the Poco phone, it had the bezel, and it, after a while, you just don't notice it. I know, but once you just get to not being there, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, someone who was it? Uh, Stephen was saying it's got a motion sensor at the top. Yeah, yeah, I saw there was like an extra little camera there. Google is a software superpower, but the phones look dated. And, and have you ever used Google Photos? Yeah, I actually do. I back up a lot of my photos to Google Photos automatically. Yeah, and Paul, you're right. I think, I think when you're at, at that price point on a phone, there shouldn't be any compromises. And I think that's some of the places where but that but but the, the you, price is you, definitely an issue for me with, with google because i really wanted stock android and really wanted google pixel and that this is and i was put off with the price but this but this is i've, I've had a couple of rants about this in my, in my channel where see every single tech website and, and channel verge all these picking up larger ones they never talk about price yeah like they'll give it a brief mention and they'll say oh you know the 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 Google Pixel was better than this phone. You know, it's five percent quicker, and you're like, it's three times the price. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> it's irrelevant. Like, of course, it's it quite is. irrelevant to, yeah, yes. to what you're paying. Um, but look, look at this here, right? So smooth display, ninety hertz. That's all good. The display looks beautiful. I'm sure it is. Fast wireless charging, all good. All day battery. This has got a two thousand eight hundred milliamp battery, just... and the larger ones get three thousand seven hundred. And they're both all day batteries. The thing is, yes, I know that software without bloat and all that battery life will be a little bit better but at the end of the day you've only you it's, know a battery is still important the size of the battery is still a factor yeah oh, big time um soft touch glass back water resistant six gigabyte of ram in both 64 or 128 gigabyte no micro sd card slot so see as far as the cpu goes it's got the snapdragon 855 so this is the thing right so paul was talking about the oppo a Ace or the Oppo Reno Ace, yep. and then we've got the real me as well. These all have the Snapdragon 855 Plus, which is the next iter iteration. They're effectively using a CPU from six, seven months ago. Yeah. Which I know doesn't sound dated, and, and it isn't dated per se, but it's still they're charging more. No, they're crazy. charging more. It just, I mean, the, the, the storage thing up there, as I'm talking about, you get free access to Google Photos with it. So I suppose that does give you free cloud storage, but. But that runs out after... But is that a big deal? Cloud storage is buttons. Yeah. And and well, the I thing is, is it's, it's infinite for... as well if you don't want to store the original high yeah. resolution ones. If you're happy with the reduced size one, which I am, yeah. then... I just don't see that as a big selling point. And as you say, there is a lot of this stuff is not the most modern, most up-to-date, but it's still flagship high-end pricing. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, th th I know this is the thing, Paul. We are, you know, it's... 
it's kind of a double-edged sword with these ones because it, the people that get invited to these conferences and they get it, they actually get their hotels paid, their flights paid, their everything. But if they totally criticised the device, yeah, they're not going to get invited back. Yeah, that's that's half the problem. But at a certain point, like if I got invited to an Apple conference, I wouldn't turn up and kept saying this isn't as good as this phone. It's like you can't. I wouldn't go and say because it's all relevant. Like I wouldn't say personally. Like I would probably say personally, I'd buy a cheaper phone. But if you're an Apple user, I mean, they've I actually think, reduced think, the price of the Apple phone the, this year a wee bit. These, sure. All these types of things, if you're getting looked after by a certain brand, well, the resale value of Apple you're less as well. likely to be as critical of that brand yeah. if you're being looked after by them and you're getting something in return. I, I just I try and and it's easy to say I'm going to be you know completely impartial and I'm going to. See, the, 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 see the thing nature's is... nature's difficult for that if you've been looked after but by But the only... Ah, I know, I know. It is. The only, the only brand that I'm totally fan by of, uh, a fan boy of, is Sony. Because I've yeah. got like four Sony cameras. I had Sony laptops for years. I've always loved Sony hi-fi stuff. Sony, stuff. Sony were the I've pi- had, like, pioneer their, their phones are crap. I don't like them. I thought they are. They are. Like, they're just big rectangular things. I actually had one as a work phone in a previous company and the, the software does not really work good on them at all. Nah. But yeah, I, I love Sony for a lot of stuff. Um, I've got a pair of Sony headphones, which is probably my favorite. I'm, I'm thinking of getting those as well. I, the like, MX I like to hear them. Yeah, the MX series, they're utterly amazing. Yeah. But that's for another, maybe for another show we talk about them. But ah. they are, for someone that travels a lot, they're probably the most favorite thing I've bought in a yeah, long time. I, I think, well, I've been using the same headphones for years, but um, Stephen's saying, yeah, these are too high in price, need to be 100, 150, 150 cheaper. The thing is, this is, you know, this is what Google does with the pixels, and they hold their value. For, like I say, they hold the value. They don't reduce the price until like six, seven months later. Yeah, I do. I agree with that. I think if you look at what what else is in the market, this is they're, they're not doing anything here to justify the additional cost. Now the camera looks good. If you look at a rear camera, twelve point two megapixel f point uh, one point six, sixteen f two point four, and then you've got um, wait, wait, what am I missing here? The rear camera is twelve. Where's the other one? Same headphones. Sixteen. Paul, I have. And it's eight in the front. Group selfie cam, night sight, top shot. Dual stereo tra- speakers. Have they tried the ones, Gary? But uh, is them the, the MDR? Is that the new ones, Gary? Is that the new ones? Them MDR ones, the thousand X. I'm not sure what the ones are. I haven't actually used them ones. It's Gorilla Glass Five as well. It's not all these other phones have the, got the spe- like glass There's nothing in the specification of these phones that's blown you away to just well, the, the price well, like, I, see, I see, see, if, see if you take away the name Google here and yeah. this was just another Chinese brand, you'd be like, Well, why would you buy this one? Look at the size of the battery. They're using an older version of Gorilla Glass. There's no micro SD card. It's it's just it's like, a nice looking phone. I'm sure the camera's amazing, but the only advantage I can see of all of it is it's stock Android. So you're yeah. not getting the bloatware that you get with other companies. Now fabric. There's possibly the still claims. some kind of bloatware in there from Google themselves. I don't know. It's one of the things I quite like about Huawei. Well, the, uh, it isn't overly loaded with that kind well, of I stuff. Well, I mean, I don't think I don't think the whole um, the whole bloating issue. I don't think it's as bad as it as it used to be. So I, See if you I go back years ago. Another Samsung ever. Well, Samsung ever. It, I had a Samsung phone briefly. I sent it back, but uh, this year and it, it was the same. Previously, I bought one. Yeah. I sent it back. The thing that annoyed me about this year was the button position. The power button was like right, like up here. Yeah. And it was like you had to shuffle had your a, hand up. I had a Note three and a Note four, and um, I actually got rid of the Note because I kept dropping it. But the Note, it twice. well, I went from the Note three to the M eight, and the reason yeah. being the Note, the Note three had, I think it was three gigabyte of RAM, and basically every phone had two. But there was one point five gigabyte being used for the apps, which it's you couldn't remove. Yeah, it's terrible. But that is not as bad as it used to be. Like yeah. back in the day companies actually used to put apps into the phone to the point where you couldn't use the phone. Yeah, I mean, I, that's that was my kind of feeling on on um, Samsung, and I've never went back. They've kind of put me off the brand for life. Now, a lot of people tell me they're great phones, they don't have that problem anymore, but I've just never been kind of inclined to go back to them because of it. Um, HTC were ones... Yeah, I agree. I thought I was, I was actually kind of a bit of an HTC fan back in the day when they had... Um, I think I had the M- was it the M7 then the M8? I had the M8 then M9. I think it was M7 then M8. I can't remember quite um, exactly what I had. Because this is when they came out with that ultra pixel thing, which was grey and dark. That's right, it was. But it was... 
It was so the, different because everyone else was yeah. in the megapixel race. And it, was, it was using that ultra pixel camera. It never really caught on. I think they tried to do something different and it never worked. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it's a good point, Paul. It's a good point, Paul. Yeah, and yeah. That, that pulls me back, Paul, to the kind of whole thing with, with OnePlus. And I think I've seen it in the industry. I work in um, with a lot of sort of lesser brands, be it Chinese brands, Korean brands, and that kind of stuff. Where they bring out crash crash helmets is a good one. I work in the motorbike industry where HTC HJC sorry were a kind of Chinese brand, a Korean brand, but they were kind of in the same price point as Chinese helmets, which was cheap end of the market. And every year they brought out a new helmet which was more expensive than last year's. And what it did was it made last year's helmet look cheaper. And they built themselves up from selling helmets at 50, 60 quid retail. They're now selling helmets at seven or 800. Mm-hmm. They've been able to build their brand up year on year by doing that. And it seems to me that's something what what they're trying to do with um, OnePlus was every year the phones have just crept up in prices. And and small up. increments. But the 70s. There's di- I mean, I, I, I understand there's different parts of the market and there's different yeah. levels. That I understand all that. And But one of the um, big attractions for OnePlus for me was like a 128 gig phone which was, had most of the, the latest processors and stuff in it at the time for 399 quid. It was a bargain. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now, when it's up in that 700 pound price, well, that's, point, that's exactly at, what Paul's you're looking saying. at what Paul's saying. There's so Aye, much better value. Real and, there's so, so much, much better value to be had out there if, if you can take away from the brand side of it. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I, I, I had the HTC, what was the Sense one the other year, a year and a half ago, and I loved it. But the, basically, they, they did no updates in the phone at all. They did one update at Christmas. And it decimated the battery. I mean, yep. went from I could charge it once; it lasted me two days. To I had to charge it twice a day, it's and there was crazy. no other software de- updates after it. Yep. And then the Poco phone, which was half the price, it's still yep. getting updates. My mum came over with the other day. She's like, "I was telling me update it." And I had to inst- update it for her. It's um, uh, it's, it's hey one, Marvin, it's one of them things. <laughs> That's interesting. So Paul's friend Alex works for. Wow. Huawei over in China in the software department. He uses an <laughs> Oppo RX17. They Pro. do that a lot though. It's funny. Like, see, yeah. This is the thing. You see all these celebrities and they're like, I love Google, I love Samsung and it's like sent from iPhone. Or it's, <laughs> <sent> from, <laughs> it's like, do you not realise that you're at least use the phone? Um, Marvin, you've got the Pixel 2. Love the Pixel 4 XL but can't justify buying right now. Yeah, I, I don't think, think any fla- I, I completely agree I with can, that statement. No flagship is worth more than 600 quid. Well, see, the thing is, I looked at new iPhone 7, right? But I was looking at it from a YouTuber's point of view, as in I could get a ton of views almost by covering iPhones because I don't normally cover it. Yep. And I'm like, plus I get the 4K 60 frames a second, I could try it and then I could maybe sell it in a month or two and I'll get most of my Makes money sense. back. Yep. And then I was like, Fuck that! It's not worth seven hundred. It's like no. But now, now the top. Apple, worry. What's I'm the top worry. Apple phones costing now? Twelve hundred quid. I think it's. A, I think it's in the UK. It's eleven hundred for the basic yeah. sixty-four gigabyte version before you go up to like the one two eight two five six because you don't have a micro SD card. It's crazy, yeah. I mean, it's, um, people are obviously willing to pay it. So, but yeah, I'll just before, we'll jump over the real me. I just want to quickly show you this, guys. This is a Google Pixel Buds. Um, these were I've seen a lot of people saying that these are uh, these will be good and all that I got your phones the other week though they were that's, excellent that's for another another video we'll do later because I bought some cheap earbuds and they were shite cheap ones I, I think you need to I got ones the other week and they're brilliant I say cheap they were 30 quid the so ones I've got upstairs they were actually cheap they're... compared to like Air, AirPods but they weren't at the right cheap end of the market well, but a company actually sent me some out and they're actually genuinely brilliant they've got like a speaker in the case but the audio is really good. The audio it's not really so much the audio it was a problem, it's the connection. So you're walking about and as, as soon as you turn to look at something, you lose your connection. Ah, right. It goes no, away no, and comes that's back. Just, that's and, just because they're cheap. Oh, it drives you insane. Um, I don't know the price of these, actually. Does it say down the bottom? Uh, no, no, there's no price listed there. So that's the Google Pixel, guys. Um, I think we should move on to the Realme. What do you think? Have a look at the Realme and then we can look at the OnePlus. Any other points about the Google Pixel before we move on? I'm thinking the 7 Pro will be in the last what, one plus. What is the price, Paul? Do you know? I've never seen a price coming up there. Yeah, I can Google that, Paul, if you don't have them at hand. 200 quid. Ooh. It's crazy. A lot of money. Yes. Yeah. So Stephen's saying he's thinking the 7 Pro will be my last OnePlus. 
It's good and love the pop up camera, but miss the back fingerprint scanner and flash. Yeah, screen. that's that's the one thing as well. Like the Poco phone I had had the fingerprint in there. Without doubt the, the best. best. See this on glass thing, I hate this. It it drives me crazy. It does work though. Occasionally It's nowhere near as slick as it was with the back, the rear one it's for just, certain. On what, the but why not just put a fingerprint sensor in it anyway? It's not like what's it doing? It's not doing anything bad being there, you know. It's no, like no. have both. It's like because if you're in the car, understand that the front's good. Yeah. But at the back, just to, or make it in the power button. There's, there's a few phones I've did that where it's like yeah. the, the fingerprint sensors. What but, phone did I have? I had that. Was it the HTC? There was one of them where it was like I think it was. I don't HTC. know how. I don't know how sensors. Was, it was, was it one plus three that had it on the? I and forget, the power button? Forget, my memory's terrible. Turning 40 he's killed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, I think, I think was it, somebody will remember, I think the, the three had the fingerprint scanner on it, a thumbprint scanner on the front and then they moved it to the back. I think that's correct. But there was one I had at the side as well. I threw that many phones. That? Um, is that Sony that did that on the side? It might have been. Uh, I think it was. Um, right, let's look at the real me. We'll have a look at the real me, guys. Um... So this is the Realme X2 Pro from 400. And you've kind of taken the shine out of this because we've looked at the Oppo Reno <laughs> It doesn't look as good now. But this this was announced yesterday. There was a big uh, conference, in, I think it was in Madrid. Um, I like the look of that, though. I think oh, it, it looks I good. I think it looks It looks premium. Really, to be honest, if you're talking about 20 euro, you're, I mean... I know. I mean, for that price, point. it looks a but right away, premium phone. I like, I like how they've summarised this for me so I don't have to search for anything. Yeah. Uh, right away, the 855 Plus. So you've got a more powerful yep. CPU than the Google. You're what, Right away, you're 270 euro cheaper than the small one. Yeah. And like, what, 450? This is less than half the price of the XL. I mean, And you really should compare this to the XL because of the size of the phone. Super AMOLED, 90 hertz display as well, 64 megapixels. I mean, we're looking camera. at this. This is like, we're looking at this going, wow, and you're looking at the Pixel and going, yeah. Eh. No, and it's, and it's double the up. price. It's, it's double. not going to It's not going to And the thing is, I think if you're going to look at these ones, that's only a 5.7 inch screen. That's a 6.3. And this one has got a 6.5. So if you're going to compare the Realme X2 Pro to anything, you have to compare it to the one, the big one, 6.3, which is 829. Yeah. This is half the cost. And it's still got dual speakers, um, 12, 12 gig. 12 gig. 256 gig. That'll be one of the, that might be the more expensive one enough, but... Still, I know I want that. It does look good. Both of them look good. Um, there's the fifty watt charger. So the other one was sixty five, wasn't it? The, I mean, yeah, I mean that must be fast because the Huawei, the Huawei charge is amazing. I basically, I use my phone quite heavily during the day, but I'll generally at night when getting my son in the shower and stuff or in the bath, I'll put my phone on to charge. Yeah. And within the 40 minutes, whatever it takes to do that and come out, my phone's up to 100%. Yeah. And that's it. I leave it till the next day. So it's pretty good. But I used to leave my phones plugged in overnight. They yeah, that's what up, I used to so, do as well. So much easier. Um, so the three T's when it moved to the back. So I think I might have had the three then, which had it on the front, Stephen. And then maybe I upgraded to the five and, the and six. then the six. I think you had the six or the six T. I, I definitely didn't have the six T. I had the was six. The six I I had, I had the, it was the six, six I had. I, yeah. I, I basically bought it to review and then. So, look at the design. What you think of the design? I like it. I like that colourway as well. It's kind. It's kind of like the single, yeah. like that as well, with the, the cameras down the, the line. middle. They've moved it to the middle. Uh, which is... You could have put a fingerprint sensor there. Get all the glass five. five. That's in, in line with the with the pixel. Pixel. Oh, Oof. we just lost a light. No, it's all right. I panicked there. I thought it was something more important. <laughs> That's not important at all, though. Really. Um, see that ninja reflex he said. I, did that. I was impressed there. <laughs> I thought you dropped a fiver. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be cancelling the stream. Um, I think that looks really good. I, I mean, but that white colour's nice as well. Aye, mm -hmm. it, it does look good. Yeah, fingerprint sensing. See, the I'm not in the market for a new phone at the moment, but I like that four thousand. What that price? Mega amp. You're actually like, losing money not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so unfor you, so unfortunately, I don't tell, think, tell that to the wife. Unfortunately, I don't think the residual value of my. Huawei P30 is going to be that good at the moment because yeah. of our friend Donald. Um, oh, that's only the Mate 20 Pro that's been affected by that anyway. Or the Mate, I'd Mate, imagine Mate the residual Pro. value of that's pretty shit. Though, I know, because people it, don't they understand. Dropped, well, they slammed it in price, didn't they? Yeah. They brought it down in price to try and... Well, you could use for nothing, practically. Aye. Practically gave it away. So the cameras, that's so got 64, 13, 8 and 2. That's Sorry, insane. I'm getting 
No, that's all right. Dragged away from the same conversation, but Marvin was basically saying here that the they're the same phone just for different markets. All right, okay. So the real me one is the one that's aimed towards Europe, uh, European customers. Is that? What is it? The RX. Ah, bad timing. Sorry, can you go back to the Pixel stuff there? Yeah. Uh, sorry, the real me's. Um, were you lying there? Were you want to look at? No, I just interrupted you. I'm sorry about that. No, I was just in the camera. Um, yeah, I'll. Uh, Kevin's just got a call coming through in case you're wondering why he's went all yes. weird. He's trying to send a text to say he's busy. So 100% in 35 minutes of charge on that battery, that Super VOC charge. Steven, impressive. 500, 500. Well, let's do a search. Let's do a search. We'll see if we can what we can get this for. Well, it's saying down there 350 on the X2 uh, Pro. The thing is... Euros. So that's... If you go to... That's about 350 quid in today's money. Exchange anyway. Or 800 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the real uh, me's main market is India. They're now spreading their business into Europe. The Oppo Reno Ace is for China. And the real Mi X2 Pro is for India. Ah, interesting. Ah, right, okay. That makes sense. Thanks, Marvin. Um, let's check somewhere like Gearbest. Um, let's see if we can get a Gearbest, see if we find out what they've got. So they've, oh, interesting, we've not talked about this yet. They've got a OnePlus 7. You see yeah, that there? I did. I agree, Paul. They should have put the brand name down the middle. I, I agree with that. It's a little bit confusing. Um... No, they don't seem to have that. They don't seem to have the. They've got the one plus seven though, four hundred. Pro is at five six nine dollars. Yeah. So if I put that to pound pound the Renos, probably up. Uh, it doesn't change anything there because that's obviously a picture. Those are these. No, that's not. That should be changing. I don't know why it's not changing that. Obviously, um, with the launch of the 7T coming right, out, it's, it's brought the prices of them down. Yeah. Um, right, so we should check the OnePlus 7T next. You can't be either phone for value. I Well, the thing is, as well, you've also got Jammy. I, like, I thought, like as I said, the Pogo phone was still getting updates all day, like a year yeah. and a bit. After yeah. I bought it for like 280 quid, Which you would not be and I could have got it for like 230, it's because I went for the, the higher storage model. Yeah, it's did you give it to your mom? I gave it to mom, so she's running about yeah. the top of the end. Top of the end, she doesn't know how to use any on. <laughs> so basically, just use it for WhatsApp. <laughs> That's that. I could have bought her a 50 quid. The Asus ROG 2. Oh, is that the, the, the gaming one, Marvin? Is that the gaming one? It's, it's, it's like a gaming design on the back, all right. Uh, but it's actually got like vents and stuff on it. It, it looks good. It was actually, I'm sure it was down at a good price. I've got a little bit of brand love for Asus as well. Yeah, the well, I've, I've only heard on Asus. I've had two Asus uh, laptops, but they were really good. Yeah, I've had two and I absolutely loved them. Yeah. Well, I was trying to buy that. What was the phone they, they had out this year? They, they didn't release it because I don't even know if it has been released in the UK, the one with the flip Never camera. Seen that. Yeah, I was trying to buy it for ages. I literally yeah. tried to order in the UK, tried to buy it for China, and then. One of the things with new phone tech I don't get is this whole flip phone. Flip screen phone. I got, well, no, I think I don't get it. The new Samsung one, the the, the launch of the Samsung one was a complete. The Galaxy Fold was a com uh, complete yeah. disaster. But they've come back. But they're taking risks. That's something oh, that yeah, Apple I mean, doesn't do. So they've kind of. I think two was it that came out. Someone else tried that a few years. Motorola. Year, maybe. Motorola looking at trying to do it just now as well. Yeah, well, I'm sure it was Oppo or something like that tried to do it the other year as well. Um, Oppo Reno Ace will be announced in London. It's selling That's in the UK. The UK yeah. Is that the one you're talking about? It was five hundred. Oh, that was the real me. You said Stephen. Stephen said five hundred, four nine nine for the real me. So yeah, that's your two hundred and fifty six gig one though. That's a, that's an amazing price for that phone. Oh yeah, that was the top version. Yeah, yeah, so it is. Yeah, you're right. That's that's what's quite good there. You can't see more of the comments. Yeah, you can see more. I hate looking down here because you're kind of like looking down. Nah, nah. I know. I keep yeah. looking there when the camera's there as well. I know. 
It's because this is a makeshift setup up the stairs that's more kind of streamlined. This was thrown <laughs> together. The amount of changes we made, you think we got it right? We basically, honestly, we, it must have been 20 minutes going, not you can see my balls, not you can see my balls. <laughs> <laughs> up a bit, down a bit, yeah. that line in the back's not straight. Yeah. yeah. Um, we got there in the end. Right, so let's have a look at the OnePlus 7T. So there's a 7T and a 7T Pro. Yeah, so they, they've been down that same route of having a standard phone and calling the, the sort of better spec phone a Pro. Now, f- what from what? Because uh, before it was just one one version. Yeah, you just got the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and now then, you've got the XL version. And the... Yeah, I think they're sort of copying this trend of bringing out sort of two versions of it. Um, so now you've got the upgrade to the 7T from the 7 I believe it's got quite a lot of new features well, on it. Well, from a CPU, they've went 855, 855 there's, there's plus. There's been a decent jump, whereas if you look at the the Pro models, I think it's incremental, tiny little differences. There's not a great deal in it. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, if, the if things, it's only six months later, it's not, it's not nine thing, day, well, you know, it's it's, not, This is what brings me back to this whole release but, but the thing is, but, but the reason they're doing it, if you think about it, the reason they're doing it is because if someone has got their contract expiring, do they yeah. buy a phone that's just out or do they buy a phone that's six months old? They're trying to buy one of the latest yeah, ones. No, so I'd there's probably, a lot of people that are caught in that cycle where they do at the wrong time of the year or right time of the year. Thanks, Paul. Great input today. Cheers. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, I mean... Appreciate I, it. Speak to you soon, mate. I don't think I'll ever buy a Pixel phone just to keep you happy there. <laughs> I just, I've looked at them and I, I genuinely, after... after the, pic, the Pixel 3 when that came out, it was not too bad a deal, but even yeah. then, so I don't know if you saw when it came out earlier this year, the 3A was basically a three, 99% or 90% the same camera, but it was yeah. a mid-range, so it was like a Snapdragon 660 or yeah, something. Yeah, lifted it a little. But, but they kept the camera, which is the main reason why phones are expensive, the camera, because yeah. apart oh, from yeah, that, that's the, but that's I, the, mid-range CPUs are good enough for browsing and video and all that yeah. now, but what they did was, it was 399, but they threw in the Chromebook, so thrown in, a, it was like a 180 quid yeah. Chromebook, if you were going to use it, it was a great deal. But yeah. at the same time, if you were going to sell it and get 100, you go, well, it's 300 for it. And then you go, well, I could get a Xiaomi 9 for yeah. like 280. With much better spec. Much better specs, better, you know, better yeah. everything. So I just, I just have never, since they jumped up in price, I think they've shot themselves in the foot. And every time, as we did earlier, I've looked at it and I thought, there's nothing in this phone that's really enticing me to pay that amount of money for it when there's much better value to be had elsewhere. Yeah. Um, just to clarify, we're talking about the Pixel here, not the, the OnePlus. Yeah. Um, Sorry, so back to the OnePlus. I think the, the Pro um, the Pro has sort of incremental upgrades. And actually, what we were talking about there was uh, the whole contract situation. Most people these days are on a 24-month contract. I know, which is insane. And for me, I think what you're actually finding is that, you know, when people come to renew their phone, they're sort of... Their two phones, years, four, but, four models out of date. But the, the, the problem is, well, is two plus. years is not enough. It's too long for batteries now because after yeah. a year, your battery gets decimated. You yeah. have Well, that's why I do the refresh thing. Aye. So I can get it early. But I don't know. I'm just... Yeah, that's a good point, Paul, because I saw a lot of people talk about that before, that there was the same sensor that was yeah. in the Google Pixel that was in, you know, camera Many ABS. Ones, yeah. A lot of things, because it was the same Sony sensor and a lot of cameras, it was like, I don't know, it was a particular yeah, yeah, sensor that was, Sony... Yeah. Um, but why we didn't point out earlier by the way to go back to the Google Pixel was the smaller and the larger version have got the same CPU same RAM same, yeah, there's no it's yeah. different from this that's Pixel 4 and XL this is T and Pro 7T Pro yeah Pro. Um, right so what do you think here right so we can see the design a little bit better same I don't like that circle on the back with the cameras yeah I must admit I prefer I prefer it like the line or the square I am agreed. But I don't know if they're doing this just to be different. Obviously, it's uh, something to make yours look more unique. I just, I, I don't like it. I don't know why. I just. What, what do you, what do you feel of the build quality? Because I, I thought the One Plus Six was when I, I know it's come back a few versions, but they've kind of kept the same. I thought it was quite plasticky and quite, yeah, well, kind of cheap feeling. Yeah. Which I don't mind when I'm paying a little money, but I when know, you're paying I extra, think, it's. I, I think it is. Is it an aluminium body on these now? It looks aluminium there. Yeah, Marvin. I think I think one of the things thirty six months. Imagine paying over three yeah. years. I think one the of the APR th- as well. That's crazy. Well, that's, that's the thing, Marvin. We talked about it earlier. I think possibly before you came on, but I use um, O2 Refresh. Now, O2 Refresh. If you're not familiar with it, your airtime is separated from the contract on the phone, so they give you interest free. So it sounds like two separate interest free kind of payments on your phone. So if your yeah. phone's five hundred quid, you pay it up over twenty four months. 
Yeah. Uh, 500 divided by that. If uh, And your airtime separate. I'm on a friends and family, so I get 50% off my airtime section of it. Oh, that's, um, that's um, a so big difference. Uh, yeah. It is a big difference. But any, as soon as you pay off the remaining balance on the handset, so if yeah. you owe, owe 200 quid on the handset, if you pay that off, your contract's ended. So that is your contract, you're out your contract. Whereas a lot of other phones, yeah, if you're yeah, tied under 24 no, months, right. you have to pay a lot. You have to pay the off. The airtime and the phone's one and the same, basically. You have to pay off both of them to get out your contract. Oh, aye, aye. You have to pay off the remaining airtime. And so aye. it is a good set. Good set up. It works for me. Most of the time, by selling the phone or doing a trade-in, I'm usually less than 100 quid to upgrade to a new phone. A lot of times I've actually broke even on it. Um, so I haven't yeah. found any problems. See, that's nice without the bev- bezels. I don't, yeah, mind, yeah. I don't mind the not. Well, that's what, well, that's what we've got just now, yeah. basically. That's, yeah, exactly. Same, although yeah. it's non fast got a lower. Has it got a less of a bezel? No, it's about the same. I don't have a it's bezel. It's about the same. It's about the same. Yeah. I was just looking at it because it was showing the bottom navigation. I was like, is that yeah. bezel? Is that the screen? Um, it's just everything's about the, the camera, isn't it? Uh, but the thing is, that is what's. No, that's why you pay it's extra what's money. so good on phones these so days. There's a 15% faster graphic rendering, which. If you play games, you might notice that. So warp charge, right? So this is what Hugh was talking about. Yeah. One plus charge, you know, gets better. Warp charge thirty T provides a seventy percent charge in just thirty minutes. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, assume that, that. Assume that's zero to seventy and not thirty to hundred. Steve Stevens come back. It as a glass body that was on it. I thought I didn't think it was a plastic body that was. It on was it. before. I, I think maybe the, one, the original six ones. Was, maybe no, I don't think the six was. I'm sure it was a plastic. You kind of feel it. I can't, I'm, I, I say my memory's not the best, but I there's yeah, Matt Frost, Frosty Glass. Yeah, I think they did that in the six as well. If I remember right, and it used to get fingerprints all over it. That was the most annoying part about it. Was it? I, I use a cover on my phones anyway, so it's not a big deal. But well, the, the fingerprint well, set up. If you got it, would just any time you touched it, you just left fingerprints. It, all it's over kind it. of it's kind of um, I don't know. It's kind of stupid me saying that then because it's the thing is, see if you buy aluminium. Yeah, it just scratches. It doesn't matter. Like if you put down, it'll scratch. Glass can shatter easily, and yeah. if you get plastic, you go well. It feels cheap, but you're going to put it's better actually because it protects the phone easier. Yeah. But you're going to put it as you say. You're going to put it in a case. You still anyway. want that premium looking feel. To it. Yeah, if you've spent the money, you don't want just want plastic. Yeah, five T was out. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm. Th- I'm sure the six there was. was. Al- I'm al- sure the six was glass. plastic. It was aluminium with a glass back, if I remember right. Well, my- it had glass. Glass section in here and aluminium round outside. I'm mm-hmm. with need to look back, but I'm no, positive no, no. it was. And it used to get absolutely covered in fingerprints, but that was only kind of slight annoyance with it. Um what have I got comparison here? Yeah. Uh 40 megapixel ultra wide, three thousand eight hundred. So got a comparison between the two. I mean that battery is the sort of lowest you would want on a flagship phone these days. 3,800. Yeah. So this here triple trap, camera is, is the Pro Quad. Is that the main difference? Uh, so that's the 7T. Yeah. Um, Pro. Pro. What is that, McLaren edition? I've never understood the whole racing thing. Is, I do enjoy F1, but like... Yeah, I'm a huge F1 fan. But I, would, I wouldn't buy... As a, far as putting Ferrari in your car and paying no. twice, uh, in your phone and paying twice the price. Same, I wouldn't buy that. a watch or anything like that. With, no, that's even branding on it it's a bit so the specs in this one but I'm sure it's the same CPU and so what's the difference here is it a quad yeah. camera then so slightly larger battery it's a larger screen bigger, obviously yeah. and 8 or 12 gig so this is why I always use GSA Marina because these websites as far as viewing specs it's never easy 6.6 inch that one is 6.67 slightly bigger is it the camera it's different Telephoto, ultra wide. Three Rear times camera. optical zoom. 1080p at 240. 4K at 60. At the back as well, quite impressive. IMX 471. Is that the same sensor? It's easier looking at these things on uh, GSM Marina. Yeah. Is it the same front camera sensor? Yeah, it's the same yeah, sensor. The the front. Same they they normally are the same. Uh, IMX 586. From yeah. the back camera. Oh, it looks like it looks like it's the same. I think camera. it's the same. I think it's bigger, better so battery is it just, life. And is it, so is it just the, the screen? It's eight gig of RAM. What's the seventy? Um, eight or twelve. Um. 
So it's just the screen, the battery. The size of it, yeah. But it's the same size, CPU battery. and all that as yeah, well. So, CPU. right, okay. It kind, of, it kind of is an Excel version then. Yeah, I think that's you know what I mean? Is. I think they've used the word Pro to replace. Because Pro, should, in, my, in my opinion, Pro should mean you're getting better Higher specs. Spec, like the Hawaii more one, you're getting, yeah, all, yeah. Yeah, you're getting the faster charger and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Bigger screen, better yeah. battery. Well, that's got the better extra camera sensor as well. Yeah, it's got that time of flight. I, I mean, yeah. Um, looking at this, if you're if you're looking at specs and all that alone, I would buy that before the Pixel. I'd yeah. buy that before the Pixel. I well, think it's a better deal. But let's be honest, we're still buying the real me before we buy yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the specs on that are insane. That's crazy. For the price? Crazy. I'd love to get my hands on one. And where can you buy them? Um, I think... Perhaps something well, in the chat room will know. Well, Paul was saying it's coming out of London as well, so you'll get one variation of this. I'll pull Renault. Let's, let's see if we can... I'll try, I'll try Google, see if I can get this up. Um... You know, let's show you better results as far as this shopping. Um, in fact, I'll take out that part. See, it's going up here. Um, Laptops direct. No, that's like an older version. Oh, sorry, that's not. That's uh, one, sorry. Should put that in. I think I think I'll be on Gearbest or something or one of the websites like that. Put it in it. Bring your marks. Is that? Put it in um, commas the whole thing oh yeah 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 right price in india no that's in it normally shows you it comes out it's maybe not listed yet but i reckon yeah. i reckon it's going to be about 350 or something like that and uh, well the other one we've not talk, talked about is the jammy me 90 pro or the K9 pre, uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, if you go to like E Global, for example, if I find that, um, that's actually where I bought my lens from. It's funny their tracking system is ridiculous. It's like they don't tell you that anything is there. It keeps yeah. coming up with lies about the. It keeps coming up with lies about when it's coming. It'll say send to courier, return to courier, and it just keeps. It's like a script, yeah. and then it'll, one day it'll go delivering tomorrow. Tomorrow, so it's basically just lies for three weeks about where so it is. It's just a lottery when it's coming, Aye, and then, then eventually um, appears. Right, so this is E Global. I actually bought my lens there a few weeks ago because it was like four hundred and Amazon. It was three hundred and five there. Yeah, it's a lens. If it works, it works. Pay by PayPal, and you're covered. Um, so there's the ninety, but it's the ninety Pro they had recently as well. Ninety. Like. So the ninety is it was called the the what was the other one called again? Oh, I covered this a few months ago as well. Um, I'll see what they've got here. There we go on the top. Yeah, they've got Xiaomi. But they they might sell it. They they sometimes get the bargains. So they've got the Mi Mix 3 as well. That's that's a good one that you maybe want to look at as yeah, well. Sell 90 yeah, so the 90 Pro. Pro. So this is all. So look at this. <coughs> £306, right? And an actual version. This is the thing. You need to watch with this one that, it, that it's um, Google Play pre-installed, <coughs> but it was not flashed. Yeah, so you need to check that it's got the, the bands and all that. I'd have to look into that. Um... Snapdragon 855. I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a variation of this out that's got the 855 plus. Oh, there it's yeah, it's called the Redmi K20 Pro. That's the other name of it. Oh, right. So basically the Redmi version, I, I don't know if Redmi's for India and oh. Xiaomi Mi 90 is for China. Why do they use different brands for India? It's just the time? different. It's just a different I mean there's a billion people there, it kind of makes sense. No, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't know why they would have it different there, but anyway. I, I think it's, it's, it means price, that you or... can sell a phone at a lower price point yeah. without affecting the main, main brand. What? Yeah, but... Uh, it's just the way they do I it. They've obviously experimented... Like they've Samsung always... or Apple or something. No, I know, I know. But these are sort of cheaper brands. They've obviously anyway. just tested it. And yeah, it's, they've obviously uh, got some, some reason behind it, but it makes um, no sense to me. But that, this is quite a nice one as well. I'm sure it was uh, our pal, Big Mackay, he got the, the second version of this. Yeah, the one that we flipped. But this one's flip. 5G. 5G, this one. Aye, this one. I don't think I see flip. Obviously, this is... No, he got this. Not a flip, actually. It's a slide phone, isn't it? Ah, the got... front camera, maybe, for yeah. that. But, um, yeah, but, again, it goes back to what Paul and Steve and all that were saying, that it's really hard to justify paying the extra money when there's phones like that about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I think, of all the phones we've looked at, though, I think 
yes, the OnePlus 7 and the 7T Pro and all that, the 70 and the 70 Pro look nice, but around the 400, 350, 400 mark, yeah. you can't see past those phones. Uh, the only just... thing is updates, security updates and all yeah. that. I don't know, I've never used um, an Oppo phone. I've used OnePlus, but I've never used an Oppo phone long term as far as yeah. a year long, down the line, six months down the line, you still yeah. get updates. Yeah, I mean, who knows what the support and backup is on it, but at that well, price, it'd be worth taking a chance and finding out. What's the thing? See, at that price, you could use it for six months, sell, sell it, it, lose 100, and then... Happy days. Move on to the next phone. Yep. That's the thing. The depreciation on the other phones is ridiculous. I, I had my HTC phone, bought it for 600 cash, and I went, stuff, I'm going to buy it. Bought it for car from my house. A year later, I traded it in at CEX for 250. Yeah. I'm like, so I've basically... 350 and I've got it's the one left. thing Apple are good for ah, residual, value, value, residual yeah. value on Apple phones is good yeah but they're just boring I, I mean I, I think know. because I've not used an iPhone since iPhone 4 apparently would like to try it as the chip fan fish fan chip yeah fun. it's nearly always I'm upstairs recording at this time and it goes by and, and in the background you can hear me and it means that I've basically been recording about 4 o'clock <laughs> <laughs> Guys can buy guys some can chips buy are quite good as well. and chips. Yeah. Yeah. That's the compromise. Zero software updates. You get great but it, well, the, the thing is, Marvin, I'm not sure if that's always the case because I, I kind of wrongly assumed that that would be the case. But the, um, as I said, I got HTC, brand new. And see, when I told them, I, was, I, I told Carphone Warehouse, I was like, there's been one update all year and it's killed the battery. And they went, oh, we'll send it away and, and fix it. I'm like, it's, I was like, <laughs> it's not a hardware problem, it's a software yeah. problem. And they're like, well, I'm like, oh, don't worry. And I was like, so do you get a phone if you send it away? And basically they said, we give you like a £20 Nokia yeah, phone. I'm like, who, who can use yeah. that? But that's the thing. The Xiaomi phone I bought was like 280 for the, and I think I went, you know, for the 128 version rather than 64. And they're still doing updates like yeah. 13, 14 months later, it's which crazy. is insane yeah, crazy, because yeah. HTC just gave up on the phone as, as soon as they yeah, sold it. Comes so, out. Um, I mean, I don't yeah. know what other, I don't know what other, major brands are like obviously Apple are pretty good with updates even though they they're do some sneaky things though. with the battery though they they're do some... constant though the updates from Apple but it's kind of sneaky what they did yeah. with the battery a few years ago and all that yeah, as well um, you can see why they do it though it's trying to force people to get a new phone but that isn't that isn't a great thing to nah. do, but I mean yeah I must have known Apple, so I'm the worst guy to speak to about this thing. Cause, no, I, I, you know, I, I, ever I, I, since, try, I try and remain open it, about it's, it. I just, it's just the price. It's nah, just the price. It goes back to the first iPod I bought, which was probably... iPod know, sucked. 2003 or something, was whatever it was. <laughs> the very first iPod that came out, and I got one. In the software they had... It was just horrible to use. iTunes? Are they not, are they not, iTunes was horrible are, are they not to use. It was always stop you from using like other people's music. And yeah, trying yeah. To, trying to make yeah. it all from them. And I hated it right from that first thing, and I've never really got on my Apple. And I uh -huh. went with peer pressure and bought an iPhone at one point. I didn't have it for long. I had it for six months, got rid of it. wasn't into it. Um, went to Android, and I've kind of been with Android ever since. Um, but I have. I've had iPhone work phones for the last. I've had a five, six. Then I'm on to a seven. I'll probably get updated to eight or nine yeah. in the next year of my work. So I'm already using Apple phones a lot. I'm just, I'm just kind of boring. Yeah. But as I say, I'm Mr. Negative towards Apple, <laughs> Apple so... I, I, don't, I don't hate them, I just think they're overpriced. I just, yeah. But it's, I, I, I'd put Google Pixel in the same bracket now. So Marvin's saying here he meant for Oppo, Oppo and Realme. Realme um, OnePlus and Xiaomi are good for. Um, Xiaomi are good for. Yeah, I, I was really impressed with Xiaomi when I, when, when I had the Poco phone. Yeah. And, um, and the Such thing a is, silly name. I know. But <laughs> I, uh, I scratched the phone all at the back. And then, see, because I hadn't paid anything for it, I was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> if I'd paid a grand for that, you'd be like, I've just took £200 off the price. <laughs> you know I mean? See, the thing is, I'm like super um, careful with phones. Aye. Like, well, it's good I've, protectors I've, case. And yeah, all that I've, I've sold folk phones before and they're like, it looks brand new because I keep having protected. But when I had the Samsung Galaxy Note, Aye. I dropped it twice with cases on. And one of the times it fell, and it, one of these covers, it covers the screen. As it felt like my hand opened. But that's the thing. Right but those things like don't really smart. protect them that much. Nah, really, do you know what I mean? Well, they, you, get, you need the one that locks. The ah, magnetic right. lock. This one didn't. And as I say, as it fell, it flapped open and landed in <laughs> like the car. Wins. And just smashed to bits. <laughs> well, I had what, insurance what, on what, it. What I don't like it with them, though, is because if you're taking a photo, they're, they're just too big. Down, yeah. Just oh, they, yeah, they're horrible. Yeah, yeah, I know. And they're very bulky in your pocket as well. So I went away from them and went back to using the standard non-yellow 
Um, Yellow's the best one. Silicon. In fact, big, big, big Orko. My one of our mates had one as uh, well. He's, he's an Apple guy. It's not even a nice case. colour of yellow. It's beautiful. It's not. It's just sexy. It looks a baby sex. It's actually official. If you can't see that, that's actually official. Officially ugly. Like, look at that. Look at the, the autofocus oh, there. Wow. In fact, the, the, that'll be at back to front because I've reversed the. Yeah. Because I've reversed the picture. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Officially mm. horrible. Yeah. That's baby okay. sick, that's what I'm calling that colour. Baby sick. No, that's good. So, <laughs> All um, right. cool. we tie up with that. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks been, for watching, guys. It's been a lot of fun. It's been good My to see you. Debut. Like, yes. Kev's debut. Yeah. Kev won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, Kev Zero. <laughs> um, so... I can leave a link to all, all the websites that we, we discussed in here for anyone watching. I'll leave a, I'll add all these links to the description area of the videos that you can check out. Um, I can also leave your Twitter link if you want. Yeah, well. stick it in there if you want. I, I My Twitter feed's a bit boring because all I talk about is baseball, really, and occasionally football. Yeah. So I'll leave it down there anyway. Yeah. Um, thanks, Stephen. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That You guys made the stream. If it was just me and you talking, it would have been very boring. It would have been finished <laughs> about half an hour ago, at least. Yeah, yeah I know. But, um, Cheers, guys. All right, Gary boy. I need to get you on. Um, yeah, we did okay with the setup as well. This, so basically, what this is the first time I've did a setup like this downstairs as well. We've got lights, yeah. we've got um, a few different things going on. It kind of worked out okay. It It'll was. be better with the audio recorder and the mic and different things as In well. In Kev's usual room, he only has one chair. Yeah, so that, 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 was... <laughs> that is 100% the reason. That's, this is that, guys. There wasn't a technical reason why I didn't go to my normal office chair uh, the office setup yeah. that was all good to go but instead I set this up with three tripods and lights and other things the reason is I've got no extra office chair for Kevin so, so it was I'll, bring him, be, I'll bring him on chair next time I, so basically it was going to be it was going to be a foldable deck chair yeah so you were going to be too low or it was going to be a, a bar stool a bar stool so you're going to be too high so you were going to be more of my balls yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um, yeah uh, I'll thanks bring, Marvin I'll bring my own chair next time but yeah, well, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm up the stairs. I'm actually trying. I'm going to get ready all the see the units, the drawers, and all that at the back. Try and give me a little bit more room so that. But I'll give you that chair. It's in my garage. You not use it at all? No, it was my oh, old office chair for work, but um, I got a new one. You may be able to actually screw the legs and keep the the the. It's probably just screws for the 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 wheel part. Like see, like the base, and the actual seat. Mm -hmm. There's probably just a couple of screws to screw the wheel. You see, I put them oh, put it in the car, yeah. it'll be two oh, separate yeah, yeah. parts it could be that I don't think it'll go in my boot but I'll try I'll have a look ah, cool but um, anyway guys I digress so I've got an audio recorder there I'll do a live stream probably tomorrow about that I'll leave that cool. to tomorrow I'll do a big opening about that um, I've got a mother mic coming in so next week we'll have a different setup we won't be here we'll have the audio quality will be better um, and we'll try and get it a little bit better so yeah Sounds good. And you could do it here again if you thought this was a little bit. It works, but I think it would be better upstairs with two chairs at a desk. I think it'll work easier. Aye. Right. Well, yep. I can I can set I can set up the permanently set up, and then it's you know it's worked. Aye, I can set it up upstairs anyway. Cool. Sounds good. Recording. But thanks for being kind to me, guys. Yep. First video. Yep. Thought. Yeah, you did well. Cheers. That's the thing because some people just like <laughs> camera freeze. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll leave a Thank link you. to all those websites down below. I'll leave a link to Kevin's Twitter feed, and we'll get Kevin back on again. I'm, actually, I'm trying to get to do a, a stream with Michael soon in the car, oh, but we can, maybe, can even do a stream with you in the car. We'll take the action um, cameras out in the car. I am a car guy. Yeah, so, so. Michael, uh, not you, Michael, uh, my friend Michael likes cars as well, but Kev's a, a car guy. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think my girlfriend will come on. Um, she doesn't even know what I do, really. <laughs> um, yeah, but can we go out and drive in the car one day? Which is quite good because I Sounds like good. cars, but I know nothing about them. You, you guys yeah, know so much are, more We are car me. geeks, yeah. Yeah, car yeah. geeks. Right, guys, cool. thanks for watching. Cheers. I'll leave all the links down below, and I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you. Cheers.